talk about that, right? Talking about superhero and Batman and, and Superman and Batman on today's Daily Dose. My name's Robert. No, 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 no. You, you're, you're not Robert. You're not Superman either. You're Batman. It's been very clear for a long time. You're Batman. Let's ask Let's, Dr. Crab. Let's talk about that. That's so good. Uh, why, why Batman? It's something you labeled me with a while ago, and it's very fun. It fits the whole superhero thing, which is a big part of what we do. Go ahead. Hmm. I would also like to wrap in what your um, guest speaker, Dr. Crab, talked about her differences in her opinion about Superman as a hero and, and Batman. And I have not been a, uh, a comic book superhero reader in my life. You might be more prepared to to talk about that than me. But what I remember from what uh, she said about the two guys is that Batman's, he doesn't have all these great, you know, riches and, you know, things. He's, yeah, sorry. Uh, well, that's right. He wasn't born into it. He, he, he's, he's basically a, a, a demigod, at least, if not a god, because he comes from another planet as an alien with this, this power based on our sun that allows him to be impenetrable. And you're right. Uh, no, I mean, I don't see myself as Superman. I really like this shirt. <laughs> I like the color. I like the logo. The color, um, yeah. And the heroic thing, you know, people say, well, what has this got to do with Parkinson's? It's funny. I mean, I was in a class, just got out of my, the, this week's uh, daily uh, or, or the Thank day you. one program. And for more on that, go to yesandexercise.com. Um, Susan was part of the first round. As you know, there, there, there's a tremendous learning curve in this class. It's a lot of information that goes out. We use the hero's journey, Joseph Campbell's uh, work. We use Star Wars. We use Boys of Summer. Uh, and then we use just broadly superheroes. All of these things to demonstrate the heroic capabilities and possibilities within all of us. Why? <clears throat> well, because it's more than story. It's more than fun externalization. Look at them. The truth is, and this is part of a growing burgeoning field called uh, heroism science is a real thing. Um, the act of finding heroic qualities within an individual, yourself and in others, is tremendously empowering. It can make you bigger than that which you feel you are. And you know, as we continue to wrap our heads around what mental illness is and how non-motor uh, affects uh, things like Parkinson's and other, we just know, we keep finding, there, it's so much more than the physical symptoms. What's going on inside affects all of those things. And yet we don't give it the same due. And I, I brought that up in class this morning and it really, I'm gonna keep pounding the table on it because I understand the power, the power to potencies of the, the neuroscientists, the, the pharmacologists, the, um, the motor disorder, the PTs, Great, wonderful, it's important, all of that. And right along next to them is the internal, at least as important, what is going on inside of that person. Internal, internal. That's, that's where self-confidence lies. That's where self-esteem lies. And I, I am that guy. I, I, was, I didn't really even understand myself in that it, it was levels of insecurity that kept me from doing stuff until I did the day one program and did the writing and thought about it and followed through with the hero's journey and self-confidence. That's the beginning of everything. Yeah. You're missing that. You're missing so, so much. Well, and, and so we know at this point that the outcomes are, and I stated clearly at this point, confidence and creativity. That's what we're looking at, you know, uh, and, and definitely feel these programs, both yes and exercise and day one can help to build it, because of homeostasis and needing to understand that concept that the body's always looking to normalize, regardless of the reality of where we are, we can normalize horrible feelings about ourselves because our body's trying to manage and live with the fact that we're less than we're stupid we're whatever we were given. We'll normalize that and just accept it in order to keep going, right? That's unbelievably painful. Heart, it's heartbreaking. It they is. And limiting. Ourselves down. And, and like you said, until you recognize that and have a safe place to bring that forward, and not just bring it forward, but then do something with it, 
And I think that's what's a dynamic about the day one program. We're not just, you know, quote unquote, talking about your feelings. We're acting them through and playing games that bring them forward and writing in ways, all of this to inspire and looking at things, examples to attach ourselves to, to go, oh, 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 right? I gotta share a story with you from yesterday, mm -hmm. exactly to that point. So I'm doing three and a half hours, it turned out, of neuropsychometric testing. They're very stressful, right? They, they ask different parts of your brain to perform. Some of the things were easy, many of them were very difficult. Some I actually really simply could not do. Those parts of my brain simply were not functioning. And, and near the end, uh, as it turned out, it was maybe the third test from the end. So I well past three hours into this. Um, I, I was um, worn out and I, um, I had just done a test that was really weird, but it didn't give you directions. The, the, the part of the challenge of the test was you had to figure it out. It was a computer. It was the only test on a computer, but you had to figure it out yourself. And then if you did it wrong, it would say wrong. You'd, you'd hear this voice say wrong, and it would say wrong on the screen. And and so boom, right? And then if you figured it out, then it would go right, and then you do it again right. Well, then it kept changing directions. So that affected, that was really hard. I had to figure it out and then it kept shifting on me. Then I get failing again and I have to keep figuring it out. And it really got to me. And then the next test was even harder. The next test was a visual thing that was really, really hard. And at the end of that, what turned out to be the next to last test, I was weeping. I found myself crying and I didn't, and a million years imagined that I would have been crying. I actually felt really good about the whole reason I was there and felt great go walking in and felt great right up until I was crying. And, and I had asked you the other day, if I got to a place where I was really stuck, did you have any recommendations for something other than you know, take a deep breath or, you know, exhale, the things that we are often taught. And you offered me two suggestions and I took you up on it, Robert. One of the things that you said was you could do this internally. You could play one of these two games internally to help you lift yourself back up. Or if you're uh, the testing person is of a personality that you might ask for the part to play with you. you could and those two games were what's not wrong with your life and what's in the box. Mm -hmm. What's not wrong with your life is the one that felt right. I asked her if she would do that. She of course had never done that game, never heard of that game and certainly never had anybody in that circumstance in the midst of a neuros. And she, bless her, said yes. She, she, was very kind with the fact that I had lost it, but I clearly needed to get it back. So what's not wrong with your box? What's not wrong, sorry, what's not wrong with your life? Yeah. What's not wrong with your, maybe, that's just inherently positive. The way the question is framed, the, the place it takes you in your answers, the training that I've had to just, you know, not pre-think answers, just be there in the moment. Who knew that it was, it's like an instant meditation. It's like, it's like you take 10 years or 20 years of meditative practice and you take it right to that simple question, that one question repeated. And I could feel that, you know, I could feel I wasn't shaking so much. The tears were going away. The sort of hyperventilating was calming. I mean, it's like a perfect little moment of all the things that you're doing, we're doing. We're doing. And I'm sure we're out of time, but. Well, we're well beyond and that's okay because you told a wonderful story and what I love within it that I, I just really want to highlight is that you took something from the class and here you brought it to the professional. I don't mean to denigrate her at all. She wasn't, she didn't know what to do with you. <laughs> you gave her the gift of what to do with you. 
And right. again, that's right. you being the hero saying, this is what I need. And thank God she did say yes. I mean, I'm sure there are probably others who would make it about themselves. And, and it's like, it's not about you. I'm telling you what I need. And I need you to buck up and play a game with me that's going to help bring me to, to a, a better place. It's a wonderful, wonderful job by you. It's it feels like a short story that we made up, except it really happened. <laughs> and she she actually was quite open. Never heard of it. Yeah. Did she have feedback for you afterward at all? She was smiling all the way through it, Robert. Mm. And, and, and the next to last time, as it turned out, that she asked the question, there was so much peace that I felt that she saw and, and then she said, let's just do one more. And then there was one more and it was easy and peaceful. And, you know, I was back for to do the last, the last test and. Yeah. And that's what it is. It's instant. It didn't take any extra equipment, no real training. She'd never heard of it. It's extraordinarily simple. And what it did is it, it refocused you and it let you know that the person across from you cares. It, empath it, it put her into the space of empathy. She cared enough to ask. And she played kindly. Yes, yes, yes. It, it actually, it, just, just for the record, it actually worked, helped when I did it internally before I decided, am I going to ask her or not? And so that was a huge right. lesson too. Great. So you, you did internal that got you to here and that got you there because mm -hmm. extraordinary, Susan. Yeah. Yes. Well, yes. that is our daily dose. And you, be you are. You. Tremendous. You, Batman. <laughs>